Good morning. What's new, Pussycat? Well, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. I'm Lisa, and this is Crimes in Fashion, where we talk about some very bad, ignorant ass, oftentimes poorly dressed, and usually mean slash crazy AF people while being dressed to kill. Speaking of that, what am I wearing? Uh, oh, I didn't look at the label when I put this on. I'll have to get back with you on the dress. It's it's very cute, I know that. Uh, Prada strappy sandals. I'm going to go live in just a little while, and I have a new segment on my show. I call it Lisa's Life Coaching for Losers. You know I'm a big fan of alliteration. No, not illiterate. We've got plenty of those running around. No, alliteration. It means really the exact opposite of illiterates. You know, and some that are semi-literate. Like the woman that inspired my, my new book and my new segment. I think I'm going to call it the language of never being able to let anything go. Yes, where I'm going to, I'm going to give out life coaching advice and some fashion advice. You know, those, for those who are in desperate need of such things. Oh, Betty, 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 Betty. My goodness. Um, I think we're going to have to do a, do a review of Betty. Betty's been up to her old tricks. And, you know, I haven't been paying attention to her like, like I think I need to be. So we're going to go over Betty's latest live stream. I do believe it was on Saturday. Oh, you know, the one where she wore the very, oh my God, Betty. Listen, I know you've been arrested a lot. Um, I've charged you with multiple felonies in fashion court and um, much like yourself, we, we don't need, you know, we don't need to mess around with an arrest and, and a court process. No, I'm just going to play, you know, as one of the few people rolling around here who, you know, I try and I try and bring my A game every day when I, when I come to YouTube. So as, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and deem myself, well, you know, I am at the top of the best dressed trauma list. You know, if I like to blow my own horn, I'd, you know, I would say I'm the best, kind of like you think you are, except my assertions are based in, you know, some, some uh, very tenuous, well, you know, grip on reality, unlike yours. Um, but yeah, I've gone ahead and Betty, I'm sorry. We, we have convicted you and I, I'm going to pronounce sentence this afternoon. The, you know, the, uh, the prosecuting attorney, they've asked for, well, they want me to take mercy on you and give you life without parole. And I, I always say, I'm, I'm a very benevolent person. I'm, I'm a helper. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still weighing, this is a very, you know, this is a very weighty, important decision, but I do feel like you, you should be judged under the same, um, system of justice that you like to dole out. So if you want to know my verdict, y'all are going to have to join me when I go live. Well, I haven't done the thumbnail yet, but I'm guessing around 12 o'clock. Let me just see if there's anything else in my little book. Oh, yes. Daily affirmations. Do you remember Stuart Smalley from Saturday Night Live? Because I'm good enough and people like me. Only in Betty's case, it would be because I'm inadequate and everybody hates me. Betty, I'm just kidding. Nobody hates you. We just, you know, strongly dislike you. All right, kids, I hope you'll join me when I go live. I'll do a thumbnail when I'm done uploading this video, but I'm thinking about 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This has been Crimes in Fashion. 
where we talk about some very bad, ignorant ass, oftentimes poorly dressed and usually mean slash crazy AF people while being dressed to kill. Y'all have a great, uh, what is this, Tuesday that feels like Monday?